What does happen? Have you seen a single other person crash down from the sky since you got here? The fact that I've seen one is definitely worrisome enough, don't you think? I... I don't know how to navigate this situation, man. I've been trying. I shall definitely uh, keep that in consideration. I do have a, a double-ended scythe I tend to wield, so oh, it should be okay. That's so cool. Man, you work fast. Yeah, it's uh, all built exactly how the other cabins are. All right, what's Looks the great. deal? What did I hey. need to come over here for? We got a special surprise for you. Turn around. Hey, it's rebuilt. You can move back into your own cabin. Here's the surprise. Oh. Am I missing something? Go inside. Did, have a look. Yeah, the, oh. It's, yeah, it's oh. one piece again. Huh? Uh. Oh. Yeah. Ceiling intact. No gaping, you know, crater here. Yeah. It's great. Um, no. 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 The, this is all wrong. I, I'm sorry, Dan. I, I know uh, you must have worked really hard on this, but no, no this is this won't do. What? Uh, it's, I mean, it's look exactly at it. The same. You did a well, great job. Yeah, that's the issue. Pillars I mean, are I, hand carved. Well, yeah, but I just thought you know because uh, the whole situation. I, I told both of you about it. You, you were there. You saw uh, the yes. flying shirtless man came down from the sky, crashed into it. So I just thought, at the very least, there might be a few more, I guess, safety measures put in place. I mean, you know all about the different types of metals or whatever. You're a forger. Um, what what can we do to the roof? I mean, the chance of it happening again is like a one in a billion. That shouldn't have happened in the first place. Yeah, well, yeah that's the really problem. It, it did happen in the first place, and I would like for it to never happen again. I mean, how am I supposed to feel safe in, in my own cabin if, you know, with what, what does happen? Have you seen a single other person crash down from the sky since you got here? The fact that I've seen one is definitely worrisome enough, don't you think? That is a fair point. Yeah, but so, I guess anywhere. I'll just have to stay uh, in your office until uh, those it does, that uh, doesn't make sense. I have a wooden ceiling. If I have a wooden roof, That's it's less. less yeah, than stone. Yes, I I quite understand that. But this you ever is read also, the Three Little Pigs? This is in the center of camp. So if someone is falling from the sky, where do you think they're going to aim for? The center of camp or off? Not the, someone's on house. The edge. I'd hope water, to be honest. Probably yeah, water might make sense bit. too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that would have made so much sense, but uh, did it? No. I mean, it was an accident. You know, I, it's it's probably not going to happen again. So you want me to feel scared in my own home? I get it. I get it. That, that, that's not what I'm saying. It's <sighs> like you shouldn't feel scared in your home. It's a perfectly good cabin. You can and move plus, there. Oh, yeah. why was this briefing done without me present? I mean, this was my cabin. I should have been there. You know, I, I would have personally loved it maybe facing the opposite way. So, you know, when I wake up in the morning, I could have walked out and been all like, Ah, the beautiful ocean view. But no, yeah, no, but, it's facing you know, this way. Kind of face towards, no, yeah, I, I, I see a what? Massive uh, window there. In, yeah, and there's see, other cabins that do face towards the I, water I see a little the, more. I see the statue, the, the butt of it. I, I see the I see the bathhouse. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, but I right. mean that's kind of how the cabin system works here. It's perfect. So you. You just you talked about this amongst yourselves. Okay, I, I get it. I get it. No, well, don't it's technically not theory. your cabin. It's <laughs> the camp's cabin. You don't own it. You just have the right to stay in it, is all. Right. Just as much as I have a right to stay in yours until uh, the property. No, no, that's made. that's not exactly a right. That's just me being nice, I guess. Or you're yes. just taking advantage you of You are so absolutely kind, and I appreciate everything you do for me including fixing uh, the cabin the rest of the way well, I mean, yeah it's the cabin but you know yeah so we could just you know move your stuff back in here you know slow transition get there well, in a no, day no, or no, two no 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 we can't do that we have to well i guess now i have all my stuff over at the island and I i'd like to keep some of there you know i'm still going to keep the oh island. you can stay there too that's fine we yeah, can rent no, this cabin no. out to someone else it's... no 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 just hear me out. So we'll have to take some of my stuff from there. I'll have to get another bed. And I guess we'll have to drop it off at your cabin. 
But uh -huh, what what yeah. does my mine have to do with this? I will have to take it to yours and then bring it over here. Um, Why not yeah. just bring it directly here? That doesn't make any logistical sense. Well, yours is closer. Yeah, by <laughs> a few thousand feet or something. You know. Uh huh. Is there an issue? I. I don't know how to navigate this situation, man. I've been trying. Well, look, I think you can move back in here, see how it goes. If no one else falls out of the sky and falls through, be absolutely fine. You can, you know, you know, have confidence that it's safe, protected. Mm. And I'm sure Zylo mm. will ensure that it is regularly checked for safety and matches all the regulations of the camp. <gasps> That's a good idea. You know, I've spent so many days staying at your cabin. Why don't you stay here for a couple? You know, I'm not. I don't think that's what he was trying to say. I, I think. No, he was... I think. I think that's a fantastic idea, Dan. Don't you agree? I think you're picking he, up. He can just check it out wrong. for safety to make sure I'm nice and you know safe, and then I'll feel comfortable moving back. No, In I, the I meantime, uh, my stuff can stay at your cabin, stuff. and yeah, that'll be great. Sure. Do we have a deal? Sure. And in the meantime, we can go yeah, on thanks, that little thanks. date of ours, thanks mm -hmm. to Ricaro. Yep. Mm-hmm. Ah. Uh, I see. Okay. He's so excited, can't yeah. you tell? Yeah. <laughs> Help. Well, I mean, I'll still take that favor. I, I did fix the... Yeah, thing, just so. let me know if you need something. I got yeah. you. I will do. Um... You two, you yeah, know, you thank you so yourselves. much, Dan. I greatly appreciate all your help. Uh, the cabin is it, it's great, just as it was. Okay, fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll be seeing you. Have fun, you two. We will. Mm -hmm. All right, son of Hades, come along. We have uh, many things to discuss. First, uh, the date attire. Are you planning on wearing that? Yeah. Walk with me. We have uh, we have plans to make. Oh, let's go for let's just go for a nice little walk out here. Hmm. It's not raining. Interesting. Hey, Lychee like lives there. Ivy oh, Ivy doesn't live there actually. Okay. That's Farrell. Yeah. Oh! Hey! Oh hi. Hey. Uh Lychee, like I presume? Uh yeah, that's the name. Nice to meet you. I'm your neighbor, uh, Dan. You may have seen my cabin. I... Oh, you're living there? Yeah, what do you... What do you mean? Oh, well, Durand was living there. Oh, yeah, it's a bit of a confusion. So, they spelt my name wrong. Well, they didn't, actually. They just left Durand's sign up. But I thought it was mine uh -huh. because I was told that I had a cabin for me, so I thought someone told spot my name wrong. Now I found out that I had a brother. Th that's Dran. He's my brother. Yes, uh, I'm very much aware. <laughs> oh well, I wasn't. He wasn't either. It was very surprising. Yeah, he didn't quite get the memo. Yeah, well, neither of us did. It was really weird. But yeah, so that's why I'm living there, and I haven't changed the sign yet. I, I don't know why. Probably should. Probably would be a good idea. I mean, Zylo did come to my yeah. cabin, mistaking it for Dran's cabin, and I'm fed up of explaining it, I'm going to be honest. Yeah, I think changing the name would be the most ideal scenario there. Yeah. So anyway, nice to meet you. How are you? Nice to meet you also. I'm, uh, I'm good. I've uh, just in a bit of a rush, but I'm good. Oh, okay, I, I won't keep you too long. Uh, oh, one thing I should mention. If 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 Silo mentions something about making so much noise around here, he may blame you. Just, just I'm, I'm apologizing in advance. I built a forge underneath, and I may have said that it was the neighbors, and he said, he said your name, and I went along with it because I didn't want to get into trouble. Wonderful. So, uh, yeah, sorry in advance, I guess. Sure, whatever. It's no sweat off my back. Okay, good. If you ever need a weapon forged, by the way, I'm your guy. I shall definitely uh, keep that in consideration. I do have uh, a double-ended scythe I tend to wield, so oh, it should be okay. That's so cool. I have this, but 
Oh, yeah. Double-ended scythe is so much cooler. Who made yep. it? Where did you get it from? How strong is it? Uh, it's very strong. It was, I presume, built by my late adoptive parent, who I took care of five years ago. Took care of as in looked after them? Uh, more like cut them in half. Oh, well, I mean, you do have two sides of the scythe, so I guess it was easy. Yeah. I, yeah, it was definitely something. Hmm. Brandine definitely didn't make it easy. Well, that's good to know not to get on your bad side. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah, um, okay, only slightly scary. Uh, but nice to meet you. I won't, like I said, won't keep you too long. Um, just want to say hello, introduce myself. Um, and mm -hmm. if you ever need anything, it's that cabin right there. Obviously. Yeah, I spent a lot of time there five years ago. Oh, okay. Well, you know where it is then. I, I do. Yep. And I'm used to the noise. Oh well. Yeah, I, I'll try to keep it down. I'll try to keep it down. But no promises. I the forge kind of may go under your cabin a little bit, but same proof. I'm sure. Yeah, and the heat doesn't bother me either. Okay. Well, that's good. Well, uh, I'll, I'll let you go. Indeed. I'm, I was going this way as well, so this is going to be a little awkward. But if I go first, it won't be as awkward. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, I guess I'll let you go first. Okay. Well, let's see, see you later. See you around. See ya. They tell us lies and fade